from that box. This is not the highest resolution layer actually. For the end of the demo, I'll show all the talking with all the layers put back together, and you'll see it's identical to the original sculpture. I, would, I didn't want to go into the whole rigging of all the layers because it's a little too complicated. And I've only learned with all the details, all the textures, all set up as we would use it in production. Once again, the shader is pretty simple. I'm not doing anything procedural. I'm not adding any textures. I'm not adding anything that didn't come out of my box. This is the Toad King as we sculpted it. And once again, notice how fast the render is. This is really done just by a local workstation with eight cores. There's no ray tracing, there's nothing fancy going on. It's just all reflection maps. There's no major secret, no major processing going on. It's all very light. Okay. So you can see, and I'm breaking the specular highlights using the ambient occlusion pass. I'm breaking the diffuse reflection bit using the, um, the ambient occlusion. But I'm really not doing anything particularly fancy. But I, do, I did get my, my result, I got my Mudbox culture rather than full details. Now as I was mentioning, I was showing you some of the Pixar temporary internal tools. We have been collaborating with Bill Dyack and Autodesk 